Hey, yo, we back in the building. Actually, it's our first time in the building. First time in the building. Really, but not really. Really, Welcome. but not really. Welcome to Call It How I See It podcast. I'm L Daddy. I'm chilling with my homie, AK the Great. AK the Great. Tell me what you're about. Where you from? Man, AK the Great. Rough Raleigh representer, you know. Raleigh NC, where I'm from. From, born yes, and sir. raised. Yes, sir. We chilling did. with my homie out from BK. That's Brooklyn, right. Brownsville. Brownsville. What's up, though? Brownsville. Brownsville. What up, though? So. Plazas. What's good, though? Split we here. Together. Finally. It's hot in the building. Y'all know I sweat. Ignore the sweat. You see the sweat beads bubbling on my head. It's all good. It's because I'm a hot nigga. You heard? Nah, it's because you got that fucking velour suit on. <laughs> nigga wearing velour. <laughs> That's that New York Brooklyn shit. Yeah, nah, this ain't velour, nigga. You see me on that? Meech, what they call it? That, 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 that real what? That's that real what? That's that low. That's that low. That's that low. That's that real what? Man. Anyways, hey, we in here, man. How you feeling, though, dog? Feeling all right, man. Trying to find love. Maybe found love. I'm trying. Hold on a second. I gotta throw this AC on. I right, see. <laughs> we got mics on. We'll be good. <laughs> okay, we good with the AC? Yeah, all we right. good. We good. Cause we got we got the mics on. All right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. You sure, man? I'm I don't need nah, you been like this shit fucked I, up. Nah, we good. All right. Keep Let's that see. part too, nigga. I'm, I know you were sweating. Keep that fucking I keep part. Keep all this shit. This shit rolling. Keep this shit, shit rolling. We here. I ain't turning nothing off. All right. We good. All right, we back. It's hot. I had to turn the AC on. Yeah, we good. It's kind of crazy up in here. Nah, we good. Anyway, what's good? What you, what you feel like you want to talk about man, today? I, I, I got a topic. Episode, man, I got a topic, man, that we, I've been thinking about, man. So, of course, we all at our age, well, any age for the most part, we want to find that thing they call L-O-V-E, right? Am I correct? A lot yeah. of us do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I was doing some research, you know, and they say the average wedding, get this, is 30K. 30K or better, right? It's the average wedding. So, what I wanted to ask you is... <laughs> If love is free, or if love don't cost a thing, you know, why is a wedding 30K? And I ain't counting the ring. Like, so how do you feel about um, the commercialization of marriage and things of that nature? What you think? I feel like marriage is a business. It is. Mm-hmm. No matter how you put it, it just is. It's a contract. Yeah. That's what it is. You... I'm trying to find out the best way to put it, but there's no other way to put it. It's just a business because yeah. it can help you. It can benefit you. It can, but it also can hurt you. Mm-hmm. Like it can hurt you really bad if, you know, if shit goes sideways with your significant other. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> do I think marriage is worth? I think it can be. Mm-hmm. Am I pressed for it? I don't think so. I don't think you need marriage, bro. I don't think so. I think if you really love somebody, I think you should really just be deeply in love with them. I don't think you need a paper from a stranger to tell you how much you love somebody. Right. That's just that's just how I I always felt that way. Right. But I'm not I'm not against marriage, y'all. I'm right. not. I'm just saying I just We're feel like marriage. all the extra in between, you don't need all that. Right. You don't need all that. But it's a beautiful thing, though. I've been to plenty of weddings. A lot of people I know are married. Do I want to get married? I think I want to get married one day. I mm-hmm. believe I do. Why not? Why not? I mean, I think it's a beautiful thing, but it's just. That bill. So you, yeah. so you trying to focus? That's what I'm saying. So, you, are you trying to focus over 30, 40k? It's not even counting the ring. Just for a celebration, for a lot of, let's just keep it, keep it hot. You celebrating? It's gonna be a lot of. Can we curse on this? Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of, lot of niggas, a lot of motherfuckers that's gonna get drunk, right? Eat chicken wings, steak, whatever you are gonna have at your wedding on your expense, and they ain't gonna call you. After that, it's check in with you. Then I had a good time, and y'all 30, 40 grand in a hole where you could have put that on the hurting. crib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you could have put that hurting on the house. On the Hurt, you hurting on the other hurting, end. Bro. You could have went on a nice vacation. You could have went on a nice, you know what I'm saying, a trip somewhere. You could put down down payment on the house. I would definitely use that money for a trip. So, so my, my point is, man, we think like that, but you know, women, they come from a different headspace, right? They grow up wanting the white picket fence, marriage, the white dress. So sometimes when you meet these women, they already had expectations since they was yay high. Mm. So they're thinking like, man, I want this big, big, crazy wedding and I need 100 people here, 250. Shit, my family's small. Right. Shit, if it's 500 people at the wedding, it's going to be about three for my end. You feel me? Shit, family, That's just what it is. My family big as hell. <laughs> I'm one of eight siblings. Ah. One of eight, not eight siblings. I'm one of eight. So that, 
That definitely sounds like K- <laughs> KFC catering his shit. For real. A Sunday dinner at my crib. Straight, straight. KFC. A, a Sunday my dinner Sunday. at my crib is over 30 people. All right. <laughs> That's, that's a Sunday. K- that's, that's not with everybody. Yeah, that's, that's just like real quick, pull up real fast, 30 people. Yeah, that's Easy. KFC, straight up. Straight what? Up. KFC, KFC plates. Too many people, Yo. man. So, so Pete, my question to that, just to, to piggyback yeah. off that, do you think marriage is overrated? Oh, man. You trying to get me in trouble. Oh, um, no, I'm not. No, nah, but um, <laughs> is marriage overrated? Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't about. think, I feel like it benefits women more than it benefits a man. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it high. Meach, what you think, yo? You think you think it benefits women more than women more than men, or it could be both? People go to the wedding for the party. It's just for it to say, look at me. You know what I'm saying? It's all about look at me. It ain't nobody cares about the money. Like, look what I got, look how much money I spent on this shit. Look like, and then they gone, just like you said. Like, then they out, you know. And you stuck with the bill. And you stuck with the bill. Everybody ate good. Everybody ate good party on your good. expense. Right. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. And and I hear this from a lot of people, honestly, that's Got married and they spent 30, 40, 50, 50 60, 60 on 100. A, 100, 150 on a wedding. And then they got a divorce in five years. And they're like, damn, I, I could have had that money and I could have invest in blah, blah, blah. So it, it's just something to think about. But um, but like I said, I do feel like it, benef- it benefits both parties. Don't get right. me wrong, because I do feel like um, it's a certain status that come when you're a married man. You right. know what I'm saying? People, mm-hmm. I feel like it's a certain level of respect mm-hmm. that comes your way. Like this is Mr. and Mrs such and such right so you know i do feel like maybe some business opportunities may open up i do feel like if you find you a good spouse you know that can and studies show this that when you're married in a good marriage um the man lifespan kind of goes up a little bit just because you have somebody there mm-hmm. to make sure you're good check in on you all that good stuff but the thing is why can't you get that stuff without paper that's the key thing right. Right. you know but I, I get it though not saying i'm i'm probably gonna be married you know more than likely right but you know, I just feel like it benefits women more than it benefits men. What what age do you think is a good age? Fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Five zero. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, That's a good I, age, though. It is a good age, man. I ain't gonna say fifty, man. That's a good age. It's man. a good age, though. Y'all think that's a good age? Me, that's a good age. Get married at fifty. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, yeah, yeah. Something hang it up, man. Yeah, I yeah. put the jersey in the in the in the, in the bleachers and shit. Nah, I'll hang that. that shit up. I, I mean, I think I'm probably right around that age right now. I'm mid thirties, maybe mid thirties to forties. I think is a mid thirties to forties. It's a man. good point. Yeah, I think it's a good point. You know. Yeah. I'm I think I mean that's preferable, but you know, you know, women have biology, you know, so they may want to have certain things. These last you couple know. years popping, get it popping. These last few 50. years, yeah, hey, why not? We get it popping at fifty. Yeah, got another couple years. We, you know, half half the century, we could go do whatever we need to do. So I just thought about something. What? So to piggyback off of that, right? Do you think an open marriage can work longevity wise? If, all right, all right, here we go. I think if both people understand on the same vibe, same page, I think it can go hard. <laughs> For real. Both people have to trust each other. Like, mm. at, it depends on what they got in their contract. You know what I'm saying? Yep. With their agreement. What they, they say that works for their relationship. Mm-hmm. Right? Because if, if they got whatever and they stick to it, it could work. Mm. The problem is people go off rail with the shit. Right. Here. You know what I'm saying? People go off rail and That's be like, the key. Right, yeah, I'm going to still go see such and such and yep. such and such. Where sometimes in the contract, the mm-hmm. agreement, they were like, all right, once this is done, move on. You right. know what I'm saying? Or you come back here. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the case. I think both men and women get caught up. Mm-hmm. You, it's easy to get caught up. Because all you got to do is bump into the right piece of peen or right piece of pee. Bump into, bump into the right piece of pee, period. Yep. It's a wrap. Either, you heard? It's going to cause some friction. Cause the friction. Cause some friction. And I think over time, too, man, your, your, your views on life change as you get older. It do. So the way I felt in 30 when we had this open marriage, now I'm 40, 50-something years old, I may not be thinking the same. So that's why I say the longevity part. Do I think it could work, you know, a good three, four, five, six years? Possibly. Okay. But it working, you know, marriage is, you know, lifetime thing. You're talking 20, 30, 40 years, you know. I don't know. That's... That you know, imagine you seventy years years old, still doing the open relationship thing, the open marriage thing, man, and get kind of sticky. It could man. be a beautiful thing. Could be. 
It could be. Could be. It could be a beautiful thing you want it to be. It can be. Whatever you want to be, you could be. Whatever you want it to be, it could be. But it just, you know what I mean? I mean, both got to be on the same page. Right. I mean, I mean. All right. <laughs> this got to be on the same page. That's what I feel. Yeah. All right. Now, when it comes to marriage, do you think are new friends allowed? Mm. New friends, period. New friends, period. Um, if it's couples, I can do new couple friends. New, you have to be new married friends. It ain't gonna be no, no new dude that you work with that y'all cool now. Y'all kiki kin and now that ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. No, hell no. No new friends allowed. No, we could maybe new couples. Maybe, maybe. Nah. What, if, what if this new friend is here to benefit your life though? Like that could like offer you a new position in something or offer you a new bag in something. You know what I'm saying? You still want to keep that, that friend, that new friend close? You think it'll cause that much friction in the marriage? I think it could. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it could. I mean, we, we offer the bag, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we act like friends. You could be an associate after we get the bag. That's just me. Yeah, no new friends. Drake style. <sighs> You said it before. I'm 50-50 on it. I'm 50-50. 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 You copy some, some, some copy new friends brother. could come in and try to sabotage shit, right? But then yeah. you got friends that it's hard to get a solid new friend, though. But it's like... That's what I'm saying. So I get why people don't want the new friend to come in. That's but I also saying. get being open-minded to somebody that's genuine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you have to take the risk to find somebody genuine. But I also get not taking a risk. Yeah, okay? it's fuck hard, it. man. It's tough. You say fuck it. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, you know what I mean? It. I get it at the end of the day. Yeah. Now, I got something to ask you, homeboy. Yeah, what's up? I know you're a Tupac fan. Yes, sir. I'm a Tupac fan. Yeah. How do you feel about these new allegations with Keefe D? And the Tupac situation, him getting arrested, saying that now he's involved in the murder of Tupac. Well, if you been ears to the streets, as I call it, right? You then kind of knew that. Yeah. I mean, the man been on, you know, Vlad TV, which I call Fed TV. You know Come what I'm saying? On, he the feds, man. man. You Vlad, think you so? know, Vlad know he's he know. Well, let me break that down. It's our fault for going up there defulging this information. That's number one. Right. I, as I an adult, like you got to know, like, bro, I'm not gonna touch on this. I'm not gonna talk about this. However. What he does is he dangles the carrots to get, you know, brothers to open up. Oh, it's, it's, it's bad on both ends, right? But um, but if you if you watch some of the, the Vlad TV interviews, he was talking all of this stuff back then. He thought he had immunity, and obviously he didn't realize that, yeah, you got immunity in California. You don't have immunity in Las Vegas when the murder happened at. You know what I'm saying? And they saying they saying your boy, your boy, um, Diddy might have had something to rock with that though. <laughs> Diddy, don't get us shut down. Now, I'm just speaking <laughs> what they saying, Diddy. Nah, they just man, saying Diddy did, might have something to do with it. So they say Diddy, you know, he shearing his boots right now. But nonetheless, man, I just feel like it, it's just been a long time coming though. And from what I'm hearing, reports is Keefe D. Of course, he was there, but he's right. not even the, the trigger man. Right. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, they're saying the trigger man might be already dead and stuff like that. Allegedly. So, allegedly, he could still be Who's gonna tell? Nope. Everybody in the car gone. That's true. Who gonna tell? Well, they claiming that, of course, they ran their mouth to other Crip members, and those Crips are actually, they got an indict, I guess they got a page right, right. Of, of people who they told what happened, who was kind of like in that circle. So, that right. could bring them down. It ain't looking good for them, Keeper D, either way. It ain't yeah, looking good, yeah, man. man. Do you realize this 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 case been going on longer than Tupac was fucking alive? That's a that's crazy. Twenty seven years. Twenty seven, man. Twenty. 20 this is twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah. yeah Ninety six. Ninety six. We're in twenty twenty three. Twenty seven years. He died at twenty five. Yeah. Twenty seven. And we just years. now trying to get like you know what yeah. I mean, trying to get what's going on, man. I, I the way I feel like Tupac was one of my favorite artists, bro. I feel like we was robbed of so much fucking great. Yeah, absolutely. Music and shit that we had coming our way. Yep. Um, you seen the documentary? Oh yeah. What do you think about it? Man, I, and I, you talking about the one with about his mom? It was yeah, kind of like mom, going from his yeah. mama, man. That, that was I like that a lot. And I've been watching all the pop bro. documentaries, they had some man. New shit up there. That was that. It was, was some official. new stuff. I was like, man, like yeah. damn, I didn't even know this, man. And it kind of puts you 
into his mind of like what was mm -hmm. going on and you know how he grew up and stuff like that and of course you saw those things if you're mm -hmm. a fan of his but how they broke it down man i, I kind of liked it you know what i'm saying it, it was great I, I liked it a lot actually yeah. but if, if we can wrap this murder up man you, you know it's still one that's 26 years old you know what i'm saying with the, with, the, with the boy well, from brooklyn man well, and they that's, need that's to, my that made, you know, period yeah 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 i know that's your goat pop my goat you know what i'm saying but um we got to solve that too man i think i think they'll end up closing that I don't know though. Damn, big might be different. I don't know. This, if they can get this, this, I think this would be the trickle down, trickle down effect of probably catching big shit. Yeah, man, I don't know about that one. I wish they do though, but it is, yeah. it is, it is what it is, man. This shit, it's so, it's our childhood. It's so beyond now. It's yeah. just like, like it's. I was eight years old. I feel like motherfuckers know and they just didn't want to like go forward with it. Yeah. But yeah. Rest in peace, Tupac, y'all. If y'all check out that documentary, Dear Mama, go yeah. check it out. It is mm -hmm. dope. Like, you'll be surprised. Like, they got a, they, I like the way they shot it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I do photography and film for those that don't know. Like, like that plug in right there. Mm -hmm. Book me. But anyway, it was Book them. <laughs> I like how they, they filmed it. Yeah. Like, it was done very unique. Like, the way they put the beats with the acapellas. I mean, uh, and they just mixed a whole bunch of things around that went with the story of his mm -hmm. life. Like that shit was done very, very well, man. Nice shit. Yeah, rest in peace, Tupac. Got uh, you got another question? Shit? Yeah, I got, I, 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 I got something to ask you, man. Right, this has been on my mind, it, man. Let's get let's to the up. shit, man. Cause we was chopping it up. I'm chopping it up. I'm a Jordan fan. That's the goat. It's no debating. So this guy. Get you had said get somebody here. about some, some here, dude man. that was in Cleveland or some dude in Miami, some dude that was in LA. You you may think he might be the GOAT. What, what, what's up? Why why you feel that way? About Bron Bron? Yeah, about about Bron Bron. Yeah, why you feel he that way? Is. Look, let me let's let's break it off, down let's for me off so like I this. No. Nah, let's start off like this. Number one, Kobe's my favorite player. Period. Always one been, always will be. Kobe's Jordan my second is, favorite. Is the one. But let's keep it a band. Braun is that dude, bro. What makes him that dude? You just I, keep saying that. I think that. realistically, in a one-on-one, -on -one, he'll be Jordan. He'll be Kobe. If Kobe was here, <laughs> just no. He's six nine, yo. He just watch his game, bro. Just watch the game. I, I watch plenty of games. Just I don't see it. Why do Why do you feel? All right, you want me? You don't want me to do it. All right, you siding with MJ, right? Absolutely. Why? It's easy. Not because you grew up on him. Why? Like, I kind of did grow up on MJ I in know the nineties, but why? Better shooter, better defender. Is that a fact? Are we going by percentages? No, for what I'm, by... it's 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 a, it's a fact. What I'm looking. Okay. Fadeaways, post moves for days, right hand, left hand, dunking on cats, playing defense on cats. I ain't crying, complaining, flopping. I ain't dick hopping from other teams, going from this team, joining this player. Ah, no, 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 no. he jumped. He just he, proving you. He proving you. He proving you how nice he is. He all he proving that I could go anywhere and get the chip. Yeah, anywhere and bring other niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you they, gotta bring they, other. That's, that's how you other. do great though, because everybody following you. They want to come wherever you going. At the end of the day, if you was that you nice, you can make it happen where you at. He period. did. No, he didn't. He Yo, had to leave. My man got a chip in Cleveland. He had to leave. He win. Did Jordan beat the best team in the history of basketball? He didn't either, because Jordan was the best team in basketball, seventy-two and ten with the chip. What's up? Wrong. I'm 72 and 10. I ain't not Golden counting State. I'm not counting that 73 and 9. Why? Why, <laughs> <laughs> why, why I gotta count that? No, I ain't counting that. I'm not counting that. The best team in history in basketball? So let me ask you a question. Now, now okay, facts don't okay, matter. Okay, let me ask you a question. Because you watch ball. So, do you remember who was in that, on that 73 and 9 team? Do you remember? Vaguely. Vaguely. KD was not on that team. Don't so matter. That, so, so I went to Steph. Okay. You still had Clay. Here's what I want to ask you. Do you think that 73 and 9 team was better than the team that they had when they added Cameron Durant? No. So that's not the best team in NBA history, bro. No, Stop like, it. On paper. That's not even the best bro, Golden State you team. Can't, you can't deny it. That's not even it. the best Golden State team. You can't deny it, though. On paper, that's Regular the best season team. wise, yes, they're the best team in NBA history. Can't regular deny regular it. season wise. How many times Jordan beat the, that team? He, and any team's even close to that record. How many times he beat um the Pistons? <laughs> he got him out of here. Had Isaiah crying. I know my ball. Look, man, I, that was that was. I know different. ball. But how many times he lost to do that? That's it. You want to count losses? But that's but that's uh, what makes uh, him great. Come on. <laughs> there you go. He right, so that's that point. You go through no. Why? Jordan went through the grind and took L's. I took my ass. I took my lumps. I took my Come L's, on, bro. bro. I ain't have to go grab my big brothers to handle shit. I stayed in the sandbox. Got my ass whooped. 
Now I'm the oh, big dog. Now I'm beating ass, I'm nigga. I'm the big dog. Oh. I'm gonna let you know I could go anywhere on any place on this earth and bring a chick and, to wherever I'm at. And bring AD. Bring Kyrie. Hey, I look. I'm not bring D-Wade. He don't, he don't own the Lakers, bro. These dudes is nice. He can't help who he so, signed, who they Nah, signed. nah. He, he begging for him, though. Please come here. Asking for trades and shit, man. I'm Whatever, man. Man, Brian. So, so Jordan didn't have a team? He ain't have, the, he ain't have that great ass team? Pippen had migraine headaches, bro. Why? Crying. Couldn't shoot. Next. Defense and rebound. Wear, he wearing nipple clamps the night before the game. Best wearing dresses and everything. Player, <laughs> defensive player for years <laughs> in the row. Nipple clamp. <laughs> rebound leader for years in the row. Nipple, nipple clamps. <laughs> <laughs> you got nipple clamps, dog. That, what on, they got to do with basketball? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Well, I'll just let you know the man was wearing nipple clamps and he married himself, man. But so what? He loves nice. himself, man. He's nice. We all love ourselves. That was Steve good. Kerr, the same cat that's on the Golden State that had the best team in history? Trash. Same dude. Trash. Come on, a man. Six, a six-foot white boy who can just hit threes. Couldn't dribble. And that, that just hits threes, right? That's just couldn't like dribble. it's nothing. He couldn't <laughs> dribble. <laughs> he couldn't dribble. Oh, yeah. The six, the dude he couldn't just dribble. just threes here and there. Couldn't Get pass. out of here, bro. Come on, man. No moves, wasn't Amen. fast, couldn't dunk on nobody. Jordan is definitely one of the best players. Where you sure. got him at? Hands you got him too? Where you got him at? He's one. Oh, yeah, Jordan one? Got Jordan one. Oh, shit, why the fuck we having this combo? But in a one on one, in a one. <laughs> we on the same page. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, but in a one on one, I feel, like, I feel like LeBron could beat him. Okay, that's we agree to disagree. I on think that. he could beat Kobe too. But Kobe, Kobe my, my favorite player. Period. But those are one on one. But those are one on one players. If you look at LeBron, his greatness is getting his teammates involved. You got Kobe. That's a leader right there, bro. Yeah, that's a leader, man. Leadership skills. You know what I'm saying? It takes a leader to go coast to coast and bring chips coast to coast and bring people with you. Cleveland, the Who worst nice. team that never had a chip ever. Okay. History. It didn't right. do it. It didn't beat the best team in history to do it. After people got, where I grew up at, people got suspended. You know how I that mean, went. They players. suspended Draymond Green for barely stop touching fouling. the dude. Stop, Come stop on, stop man. Kicking. That's true, Draymond. Go, go do yeah. karate if you want to kick on, boy. This ain't karate. We're in sports. <laughs> you tie bo ho. You try to work out. You trying to get brolic. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to kick knowledge. <laughs> ah, oh, man. man. Ooh, I got one for you. Yeah, what's up, dog? Okay, okay. Bottom line is LeBron is the goat. I had to squeeze right. that in. He's but yeah. Yeah. Ooh. What's up? What mm. you got? That one for you. What's up? Would you have sex with someone you're not attracted to just to fill your sexual needs? Um, no. I actually was in a relationship <laughs> like that. Not real talk. I actually was in a relationship like that. And um, I was not physically or sexually attracted to this woman. She had everything. She, her credit was good. She actually helped me get on my feet, had her own house, had a lot of stuff. And I tried to push past mm. all of that, man. But I was with this woman for three years, man. I might have slept with her maybe four or five times, bro. Get them. Where the cat's at? <laughs> nah, we ain't got no cat radar, man. Maybe, cat say, oh, maybe, maybe cat at max, at max 10. At max <laughs> that's a, that's 10. That's double the number. At, at max. At max. All right, what, what made her so bad? Like, what, all right, what were you unattracted to? Well, physically, she wasn't what I was used to. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like a certain style of woman, you know, but she was a good woman, so I ended up talking to her. Um, be honest with you, man, one time we was actually getting the business in, right? And like me, I'm, I'm on a choke. I want to talk shit. And she was telling me, don't do that. Oh, so I moved to this. Don't do that. Like, God, don't do that. And I hear too many don'ts. I don't want to do it at all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, the attraction's already not there. Then when I'm trying to get into it and do the things that I like to do, you're telling me, nah, don't do that. Don't, don't grab my hair. Don't choke me. Ah, I'll do this in the what? third. Yeah, man. No hair grabbing? No hair grabbing. No choking? No choking, bro. Smacking? None work. Straight none work. She was what a about light choke with the arm? Like, none, of, none of that. None of this. None of that. <laughs> like, not even a light choke. None, like. none of the light chokes, bro. I tried. And, and, and she can sense it. Mm. She was begging for it. I mean, I've never had a woman beg me for the dick, and I didn't want to give it to her. It's crazy. She just wanted a traditional She was a traditional. Smashing. Yeah, just, just. Just basic. Yeah. Smashing. Just basic No smashing. extra. No extra stuff, bro. No theatrics. No theatrics, man. No Damn. IMAX work. No 3D. No, no 3D IMAX work, none of that, man. Damn. Yeah, oh. man, I've been through that, man. That's that's that was rough. It's rough, bro. I think I ain't gonna cap. I have. 
<laughs> that's cool. That's fair. I have. Yeah. I have. How you yo. get through it? Yo, man. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you this story. All right. It was it was this girl I I ignored for like three four years, and she was just hard on me, like trying to get with me for the longest. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Be good. I don't wanna. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. So she quit, right? She quit working at the job. We used to work together. Mm. So she quit. Mm. So she's like, yo, let's just hang out, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, sure, we can hang out. We've always just been friends. I just go hang out. I ain't, I ain't thinking nothing Set of them it. Up. Set yo, them hey, up. when I tell you, when I tell you. That shit was good, wasn't it? That shit was good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Hey, yo, hey, yo you crazy as hell, dude. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. I saw his face. Yo. You was missing out the whole time. The whole time. Missing out. I had to get past the looks a little bit, but it was dumb, dumb. Nah, she had, nah, she had a fatty, though. I ain't gonna hold you. She had a That's fatty, what but, saved I, it. I, but I was still like, ah, oh, That's I'm what straight, saved straight, it. I'm straight. Yeah, yeah, Damn. yeah. And then it was popping. We made it a thing. It just was just going on. It was just stupid. Yeah, it'd be like that. And I, I really, and that, that, that made me rethink life. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, Damn, like this whole time I was saying no, like curving shorty to get running away from shorty. You no, know, she's probably dreaming about that shit. She's she probably practicing. Like I was the last she's like, if I ever get that dick. I was like, the like last if I ever get it. Dude on earth. Damn. And it was fine. You still call it to this day? Nah, nah. Okay. Nah, nah. I was just making sure. It was, it was good. Just, just making sure. Just checking. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. Don't we call I, those? I ain't give too much we we, we call those the cold <laughs> nights. We call them them cold <laughs> nights joints. Yeah, she might pick up and be like, "Oh, you talking about?" Yeah, 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 yeah. She gonna call you and see see this. Shit she gonna know exactly who she is. That shit was fire. It was it was it was crazy. Damn. I mean, I'm trying to think like, what was I unattracted to when it came to her? Um, I think she was just loud. Hmm. That's different. She was loud and physically, I just I wasn't. Yeah, she just wasn't your speed. This wasn't my speed at the yeah, time. Yeah, you know I'm saying it, it wasn't it. my speed at the time, I and I was just looking like I, I went past it at the time. I'm mean, probably in my early twenties, if that. Yeah. If that, and I'm just like, you know what I mean? Try to figure out what was going on, but I was like, you know what? We hanging out, we having a great time. You know, let's fuck it. Let's let's see what's going on. Fire. Mm. Damn. I was driving home smelling my upper lip. I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I was like, yeah, buddy. Oh my God. This shit was crazy, bro. I was like, damn. Like, I'm still, I was tripping. I was tripping for a minute of that. But you ever had something so good when you're driving in your car, your pants are still off? Your ass is on the seat. You couldn't put your pants on? I've done that. You just, you just in the whip, just <sighs> listen to dad going Joe to see. I'm like, this in the whip. <laughs> you just like this ass on the seat. <laughs> ass all on the level. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Dick all on the seat. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of how we see it, podcast man. This is what we do. Just call it how you see it, man. For real, cause it's what we do, man. Especially getting it popping in the car, like that car. That car sex is a little different. Yeah, you, but you got enough space too in your car, though. Make space. Yeah, I'm folding every chair. Now. <laughs> I don't care if sure you pop it in, in the trunk. <laughs> Trunk and the legs out. Let me get that. <laughs> you in the wheelbarrow here. Head in the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow. <laughs> the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow. right here with it. Here he's he's got to get it. Got to get it. Got to get to Fuck it. Fuck that. Get in the Make trunk. Make room. Get in the trunk. Get on the hood of the car. I stand outside of the car. I've done that. Stand outside of the car? Get in, get in there. Yeah, they had a sunroof open. Why should you just Sit bounce on Just lean on the car like I'm like chilling. <laughs> Hey, just a question to ask you. So, if you could raise your daughter to be two different women, right? Mm -hmm. Either you could raise her to be submissive, you know, getting her ready for marriage, teaching her how to cater to a man, all of those qualities, or would you raise her to be um, Miss Independent, you know, get her own bag, work driven? Like, how would you raise her? If I had a choice, like, I would, th I would think it would be balance because I would show her what it looks like for a man to take care of a woman, her mother. And I will also show her what it means to be independent. You know what I'm saying? Going out there, not relying on anyone to get a bag for you or take care of you, but knowing when to take a back seat if someone, if a man or even a woman, because we don't know, mm -hmm. that may come in and lead the way. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? If that's their position, because she might be the one to lead the way. It might be yep. 
seasons. She might take something else and learn how to treat, let's say, I don't know what the situation may be. She might learn how to treat a woman, treat a man and from me or from her mother. So we don't know. Mm -hmm. But I would say balance. But if I had to choose, we gotta choose. pick one, we gotta pick one. independent. Okay. Because I think independent is more of a switch, a on and off button. Like you can be independent and then the second someone comes in to take care of you, you could kind of like put the brakes on and be like, ah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. got it. She got it. Whatever the case may be. That's good. What about you? Everything you said, I, I agree with. Um, if I had to choose one of the other, and his was so crazy, right? Because I would prefer, the type of woman I would prefer is a submissive type of woman, mm -hmm. right? But the woman I would raise is probably an independent woman. Really? It's so weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just so weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? that's just weird. Yeah. But you pick submissive women over independent. Well, I mean, of course, I want you to have some independence. Like, don't get, I don't want no woman that's just like, oh, I don't need you. But I do like those submissive qualities, of course. Um, um, but like, if I ha if it had to be this way or that way, I would prefer a submissive woman, of course. But as far as me raising a kid or raising a, a, a woman, I probably have to raise an independent woman. Do you think too much independence is a turn off? Yes, absolutely. Too much independence, absolutely. What is too much independence? It's like, it's that I don't need a man for nothing. I don't need a man. I don't want one. I don't, it's that, that's too much independence. When you feel like you could do everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes people pride the independence in their way, right? So they may need something. They may, may be going through a bind, but because they want to appear that they're so independent, they won't even ask for help, okay. which could hurt them. Yeah. You know, so being too independent, I think, can hurt you versus helping you. Is being too submissive a turn off? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Too, too, too much of anything is bad, bro. You think so? Absolutely. I, I, know, I know some people that love super submissive women. Like, like I do too. I do, but I mean, I do. I like that too. But when you say it, it's like you walk in the door, she want to wipe your feet or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. That's, I feel like you're doing too much. Some people like their feet white, man. <laughs> you got the wet white face. <laughs> <laughs> take, take, your, your shoes. take your shoes off. This pinky toe. Why you COVID, COVID twenty two coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe your, wipe your feet. Dope, dope, dope. So yeah, man. Um, I believe that too. I believe too much of anything can be crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be entertaining for a, a little bit. while, yep. but after a while, it's like, eh. Mm -hmm. eh. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Do you think too much sex is a a bad thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I need it. How many times a week? Man, shit, how many times can I get that motherfucker up? Damn. Wow. Shit. On that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, how many times? How many times? Maybe 30 time times a ever. week? Let's this is what it. it is. Let's get it. All right, look. You know, yeah, I, I agree. I think I think just whenever. Whenever. Just have fun. Right. Whenever you can. Like, whenever you can, let's get it popping. Right. Always. I don't think it should be, oh, we should do it three, four times a week. Nigga, mm -hmm. We can do it every day. Let's do it every day. Right. I say it's good to miss a little bit. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's good to miss a little bit for sure. When you miss, when you, when you miss yeah. somebody, you know what I Come mean? Back. It builds it up. It builds it up real good. It builds it up real good. Yeah. But yeah, we about to wrap up. This wrap has been up. fun. We about to yeah. do something really dope here. Yeah. Please, y'all, subscribe, 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 mm -hmm. subscribe, subscribe. Right here, call it how I see it podcast, mm -hmm. ED Productions, AK the Great One, mm -hmm. L Daddio. Hey, and if y'all got some topics y'all want us to touch on, drop a comment, inbox us, do whatever you can. But yeah, we about to come with a lot of stuff. And if you want to be a feature on the show, a guest on the show, Holla at me or AK the Great One. Mm -hmm. And hey, man, let's put it together. Put it together, How man. How you feeling, though, about all this, man? man? I love it, man. I love it, man. The energy that we bring, man, this, this shit going to be good, man. Good, excited. Man. I feel excited about this shit, too. Like, we got to bring it's it. About to, it's yeah. about to be something. Get on board now, for boy. It's too yeah, don't late. Wait too we late don't, don't wait too late, man. Don't wait too late, yo. Don't yeah, wait like, too late, because the price will be going up. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Will be absolutely. going up. Shout out to everybody that support us in any way. We appreciate mm -hmm. y'all. Don't forget, call the High Seed Podcast. Follow us on Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, wherever we got it, it'll be right here. You know how to, you know, everybody do click, clickety, click, clickety. And we out, Joe.